Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and I've got another question from Perfect Forehand. Does higher megapixel count always mean better image quality? And you're obviously referring to digital photography. Now going back to when I bought my first digital camera, it was a Canon PowerShot A3 something, I can't remember the exact model name, but it had four megapixels. Yep, yeah, you're right, four megapixels. And the image quality was okay, it's just a little point and shoot, nothing fantastic. Produced photos that pleased myself and the family, and we've still got it now, it still actually works now. And then we move further through the years up to present day, where Nikon have just recently released their D4 and D800 digital SLRs with 36.3 megapixels. And you think that is just outstanding. How can they fit that many megapixels onto the sensor? Well, with, with that particular camera, it's a full frame sensor, so it's a larger size sensor. But 36.3 megapixels is still a lot of pixels to fit onto that particular piece of technology. And it doesn't always mean better image quality. I'll give you another example. There's been recently a Nokia, I think it's an 808 Pure View. I might have the model number slightly wrong there, with something like 46 megapixels on a tiny, tiny sensor in a mobile phone. And that's never going to produce fantastic image quality compared to something with a larger sensor. So the sensor size plays a big, big part in the actual image quality you're going to get out of a camera. Now alongside that Nikon D800 and D4 announcement, we also got an announcement from Canon. And that was in the form of their 5D Mark III. And they introduced that with, I think, just over 22 megapixels. So they didn't go for this high megapixel count that Nikon did. And what that should result in is better low light performance. The pixels will be bigger on the sensor and thus they will be able to uh, harness more light on each pixel. So it should result in lower noise photos. It's not always the case and it's going to be interesting to see how those two particular cameras, the Canon 5D Mark III and the Nikon D800, actually perform against each other. What high megapixel counts do allow is for cropping down in size and resampling of photos. So you can crop down from 36 megapixels and get a really nice big 20 or 22 megapixel photo from that, that capture on the camera. And what it also allows you to do is obviously print at much larger sizes. But to recap, it doesn't always equal better image quality. That's down to the sensor, the processing, um, and the optics as well, how much sort of resolution the particular lens or glass you're using on the front of the camera can actually resolve. There's so many different uh, properties that go into giving you a good image. So I hope that hasn't been too confusing. I do find it difficult explaining things sometimes when it comes to sort of images and photography. So I hope that's sort of helped you. Um, I'd be really keen to hear from you guys and girls in the comments below what camera you're shooting with, do you think high megapixels really matter? Do you think there's a sweet spot? For me, I think around about the 20 megapixel mark is enough for a digital camera. Please do leave your comments in the comments section below and leave me some new questions as well. And I will see you all in the next video.